Thai TFCon 5th Generation Fighter TFCon 5th Generation Stealth Twin Engine Multirole Air Superiority Fighter made its first flight on the 21st of February, 2024. Service introduction is planned for the early 2030s. TAA works with subcontractor BAE Systems. The aircraft is meant to replace the Turkish F-16s and is also planned for exports. In 2011, the Turkish government gave the go-ahead with funding equivalent to 20 million US dollars for a two-year conceptual design phase. By 2015, TAI released three potential F-Ram configurations. FX-1 was akin to a twin-engine Lockheed Martin F-22. FX-5 was somewhat like the F-16 configuration, and FX-6 was like a single-engine Canard Delta Saab JAS-39 Gripen. Finally, it was decided in 2015 to have the twin-engine configuration. Earlier considerations to join up with the Saab or Russians for a joint program were abandoned. In December 2015, Turkey announced that it had chosen BAE Systems of the United Kingdom to assist with the design of the nation's next-generation air superiority fighter. The contract for design and development was signed in August 2016, and TAA granted $1.18 billion. Simultaneously, the request for proposal RFP was issued for the aircraft's engine to General Electric, Eurojet, and Snecma, with the condition that the engine infrastructure be developed in Turkey and production is domestic as long as possible. Even Rolls-Royce evinced interest. General Electric's local partner Tusa's Engine Industries, TEI, proposed a mature engine and emphasized the advantage of GE engine designs. TEI is committed to submitting all intellectual rights to the government. Meanwhile, in October 2018, it was reported that an unknown number of initial production fighters will be equipped with General Electric F-110 engines until the Turkish Air Engine Company, TAEC, finalizes the local engine. Meanwhile, Rolls-Royce continues to make attempts to get into the locally developed engine. In 2022, 10 General Electric F-110 engines were reportedly delivered to TEI. The first production aircraft, called Block Zero, is planned for 2025, and the first flight is targeted for 2026. TAI plans three prototypes by then. The Block 1 configuration is planned to be developed until 2029. The target is to deliver 20 Block 1 aircraft to the Turkish Air Force in 2028, then two aircraft per month by 2029. The Phase 2 aircraft will be delivered to the Turkish Air Force between 2030 and 2033. In Phase 3, between 2034 and 2040, development and mass production activities of other TFX blocks are planned. The earlier price tag of $100 million per unit is likely to exceed. The 25-ton max takeoff weight, similar to Indian AMCA aircraft is meant to feature standard fifth-generation features such as improved aerodynamics and propulsion, supercruise, sufficient combat radius, undefined, advanced and internal multispectral sensors, EW and RF, IR, low observability, sensor fusion and autonomy, improved data link capabilities for network-enabled warfare, internal base, high-precision standoff weapons. Turkish company Aselsan is developing an advanced active electronically scanned array radar that will use gallium nitride GAN, technology. The aircraft will integrate with TAI anchor through an encrypted data link for manned unmanned teaming. The aircraft will use upgraded variants of Aselsan's own radar warning receiver, RWR, missile warning system, MWS, laser warning system, LWS, chaff and flare management, dispensing system, and digital radio frequency memory, DIFM, base jamming system, which is already deployed with the other air platforms.